Hello everyone, hello all of my 2000 plus subscribers, how are you today? And uh, this is Ronnie from the Fruity Ronster channel. What I want to say is a couple of things, but firstly, the UK Fruit Festival, which is a fruit fest that I run, a raw vegan festival that I run, is coming up in August, but our early bird prices are going to finish on the 30th of April. Now, that should be that, and that should be as simple as that. However, something has come up in the last week, which is that I was going to send out the schedule and a few other things, and the menu and stuff to some of the people on our subscriber list, uh, so that people could get an, a, a, a better idea of what the festival entails, and potentially that's going to actually be late. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole story of why that's been sent out late. Uh, needless to say, well, I take full responsibility for it anyway, so it's not it's not anyone's fault really. But it might be late, and therefore it's not really fair if someone gets that information after the date that the early bird prices go up and don't get the opportunity to take advantage of the early bird price. So probably that date is going to have to be a bit flexible and move back a couple of days so that people can actually get a chance to look at the schedule and the menu and all the th and other things that people might look at. There's a good chance that if you're on that, if you're on our list, you'll probably get that at some point this week or next week. You might have got it already. I don't know and that's the problem. I don't know exactly when it's meant to have got out to people because it's uh, it's uh, another company I was using. I'd assumed that they'd sent it out. Then I found out they hadn't sent it out on time. And then I told them to try and get it out soon. So, problems. And uh, But it'll all, be, it'll all be fine, really. The whole point is to get some more information out to people. So if you are on the Fruit Fest list, and if you're not on the Fruit Fest list, go to fruitfest.co.uk and join the mailing list so you can get these things when, as and when they come out. And come along to the festival. And the early bird prices go up in a couple of days. I assure you, you're going to have a great time. We've got all the kind of we've got all the mega experts of the raw vegan world coming anyway. So it's the best place to come. It's the best place to learn. It's the best going to be the best food with the best chef. And there's not really a lot of other raw vegan festivals to compare it to. So if you can't make any of the other ones because of timing or money or whatever, then this might be the only one for you anyway. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a small select group of festivals and uh, we've certainly got a good one. And we'd love to see you there. And I'm getting excited for it. And a lot of my friends are going to be there, which is Part of the reason that you want to start one of these things is you just uh, get all your friends to come, you know, get your friends and family and whoever else you want to come. And if you want to start your own festival then or your own little event, then that's a, a great reason to do it, really, is to bring friends together, family together, other people. And uh, you can always, you can always look uh, you can always ask me some questions about it. It's 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 not that it's not as complex as people might think. A lot of people say, "Oh, there's so much work that goes into doing these things." It's, people are just kind of never underestimate people's laziness. You know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> they they like these things to be happening in the in the world, but they don't want to actually do anything to make them happen, and. They want to come up with all sorts of excuses. When it when it comes to events and putting on events, a lot of people really, really shy away from it because they think it's a lot of work and a lot of organisation and all the rest of it. It's not. It's not that. There's not that many steps involved. Um, but the the obviously the big the biggest thing is trying to get people to come along. So you need to have something of value to offer people, I suppose. Fruit Festival is uh, three or four years now, fourth year, so it's been a lot of stress over the years. It's 
really taught me a lot of lessons running it and being part of it. It's made me have to learn a lot of things, solve a lot of problems and learn a lot of new things. And, uh, you know, even up to last week, last couple of weeks, made a mistake with this this, let, this letter getting sent out and that was that's quite annoying, but it, it happens, you know. So that's what's happening. I, I hope that we can... I hope to create more fruit festivals around the world. I think. I think that's. I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe just either. Essentially, sometimes I think I want to create lots of fruit festivals, and other times I think I want to stop <laughs> doing even the one fruit festival. I don't know. But one or the other, and and that's that's how I feel about it. But. Uh, I'd love it if you support the event in any way you can. If you if you let other people know about it, share it online. If you would like to even message your friends about it or text people or email people, anyone that you think, even people that you think aren't interested, you can just send them a message and say, hey, I came across this weird festival. What do you think about it? You know, you can just say something like that and pass it on to someone. You don't need to say, you know, this is the greatest thing in the world or whatever. So any support you can give, but we'd love you to come because we'd love to see you there, because that's where you're going to get the most benefit and enjoy it the most. So as I said, the, the prices are going up very soon. 30th, potentially postponed a few days because of this mess up with the letter being a bit late, so look out for that. The, the website will have the information anyway. Everyone, have a good night, and see you soon.